R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle. So apparently, the LAPD was investigating Nipsey Hussle for having gang ties prior to his death. So they say, but many say they are still looking into his gang ties, which makes at this point no sense. The only sense I could see out of this is from Eric Holder, who has requested that the DA look at Nipsey Hussle's gang ties in his past history. The link for this article will be in the description. So according to Complex News, Nipsey Hussle's killer reportedly wants DA to turn over past criminal investigations on rapper. And this article was written by Joe Price. So Eric Holder, the alleged murderer of Los Angeles rapper Nipsey Hussle, has formally requested the prosecution to provide all evidence of past criminal investigations on Nip, the blast report. Holder's attorney filed the request on Tuesday, hoping that the evidence will help the case of his defendant. The full list of items also includes any and all unradicated and unedited police and arrest reports related to his arrest for any criminal offense or suspected criminal conduct as well as any and all investigative reports and, though, and their results of the descendant as it relates to any criminal investigations before his death. They also requested information regarding any gang affiliation, gang membership, and participation in gang activities by the descendant. It was recently reported by the New York Times that Nip was under investigation by the Los Angeles Police Department shortly before his death at the end of March which likely prompted the request. However, the department refuted the claim and stated that Nip was never the target of an investigation into alleged gang activity at his marathon clothing shop and its adjacent strip mall. Eric Holder was indicted for the killing of Nipsey Hussle back in May. He was indicted on one count of murder, two counts of attempted murder and one count of possession of a firearm by a felon and two counts of assault with a firearm. So it's no secret that Nipsey Hussle was with the rolling 60s. Nipsey Hussle was a crip. And you don't walk out of gang affiliation. And pretty much Nipsey Hussle still was a crip. He probably wasn't putting in work like he used to, but the streets know Nip still was a crip. <laughs> he was still cripping. So Eric Holder is trying to make the prosecution look at Nipsey Hussle like he was a killer because Nip had a lot of charges and Nipsey Hussle did some time. He had a couple of uh, attempted murders and attempted assault charges. Uh, he was up and down that felony path, that gang life. So this is what Eric Holder trying to get the prosecution to see that maybe he took a gang member off the streets and did the police department and did all the good people a favor by killing the Psy Hustle. This is what he is trying to get them to see in order to knock back some time because he is looking at maximum, which I think is his only shot at anything good happening for him at this moment. So he's just digging and digging and crawling, trying to get any way out of his predicament. On the other hand, LAPD are always up to something suspicious. They've been fucking with Nipsey Hussle uh, because of his gang ties and his past. Like I said, once you go to jail, once you become a felon or once you or have gang ties, uh, I don't know where you guys are in the world, but in many places, especially California, they have uh, a gang task. Like police that are assigned that know gang symbols, that know the street code, that knows uh, where to go, where colors are really looked at. Well, the whole California almost like that. <laughs> but in certain neighborhoods, you can't wear blue and you can't wear, wear wet red. You know, I see a lot of people uh, where they live at, they wear all these damn colors. I'm like, how in the fuck you can wear all them colors and walk down the street? You can't do that shit in Crenshaw. 
Compton, Watts, South Central. You can't do that shit. Inglewood, you can't wear all those colors. But the police have a gang task force that look at the shit like that. And they've been watching Nipsey Hussle because Nipsey Hussle was making money a lot of different ways. As we all know, Nipsey Hussle didn't have a, a hit record before he died. Like, he didn't sell millions of records. He didn't even have, like, a hip a hit song. We all know Nip from Slauson Boy. Like, all Westsiders, all Californians, been with her from day one. But a lot of people just got to know Nipsey Hussle from the way he got killed, which is a shame because they never supported the brother while he was alive with his music. But now they realize that he was a dope, prolific rapper, and he really had bars, and he really knew his craft. He just was multi-talented because he invested into a lot of real estate and had a lot of other business ventures out there. And the brother was very talented. R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle. I'll keep you guys up to date to what's going on with his case as this continues. Like this video, leave your comments, and subscribe later.